All right, hey Pisces. So we're doing the Torn Between Two. For those of you who are dealing with two people. I'm just gonna get the layout real quick for you. So position, um, this is person number one, person number two, this is um, they, what they represent. All right. Um, what can you get out of this relationship with person number one? What can you get out with person number two? Problems that can arise and general advice. All right, so person number one, what do they represent? We have the six of cups support and give your relationship a chance. So I do feel like with this relationship right now, um, it could be that you guys have kids together. All right. And I feel like for some of you, you could be staying with this person um, solely for the kids. All right. And this is how you're feeling. I should give this relationship a chance because we have kids together. I should give this relationship a chance because it goes back a long time. All right. Um, I don't feel like it's give your relationship a chance because it's a deep past life relationship because I feel like if you felt that deeply about this connection, you wouldn't be finding yourself in, um, basically a third party situation. Person number two, what do they represent? We have page of wands, ideas, inspiration, and then we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So I feel like what's going on is you're feeling, um, I, I want to say stagnation with person number one. I feel like this right here you've been in for a while and you're not sure if you want to give your relationship a chance anymore. I feel like you guys have been together for a long time and you kind of are just like in your head about um, when does it end? You know, um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here yet, but I do feel like somebody is kind of over it. You know what I mean? Uh, just over it. You found somebody new. I don't feel like you've... Um, I don't feel like you've slept with this new person yet. Okay, I just got to say that. I feel like it's um, an innocent new beginning. And I almost feel like this person is just kind of open you, opening you up to the idea that you do not have to be with somebody just because you have kids. You don't have to be with somebody just because you've been with them for a long time. All right, I feel like um, this person, number two, came into your life. And they've kind of just opened you up to the, the realization that you know, if you have kids with this person, just because you're with them, um, just because you have kids with them, it doesn't mean that your kids are going to be happy. They're, they're going to look at you guys. They're going to see your relationship. I'm not going to say there's fighting or arguing or anything like that going on. But I do feel like, um, you know, if you have kids with them, your kids are going to sense that you're, in, you're unhappy anyway. What can you get out of relationship number one? We have the three of cups. So I do feel like there is a form of happiness here, but I feel like it got buried. Okay. I feel like the celebration, the happy times with this person, number one, I feel like they got buried, but I do feel like there's a potential for them to resurface, but how much work do you want to put into it? Um, I almost feel like too, have you talked to this person about what's going on with you? Because for some of you, I feel like you haven't even talked to them. But it could be that it's like, I've tried talking to him before and it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? That kind of vibe. Um, what can you get out of relationship number two? We have the six of pentacles. All right. Um, and this is often um, speaks of imbalance. The scale is not being balanced. But right here, I mean, look at, I mean, I, I almost feel like they're balanced. You know, I feel like with this right here, this person helps you um I feel like this person helps you see a lot that you have not seen before and it could just be that you're I don't know I don't feel like you're sleeping with this person right now but I do feel like you're I feel like there's an attraction that's starting to de to develop with person number two and you're just like oh crap you know problems that can arise um with relationship number one we have the hermit um and I feel like the problems are is your internal problems 
I feel like it's reflection. It's going within. And I feel like it's your own inner demons type of deal where it's like, uh, I just don't want to hurt their feelings or whatever. I don't feel like there's anything really horrible going on here. Or I don't feel like you're cheating. I feel like you're maybe an emotional development is happening with person number two. We'll put it that way. Um, problems that can arise is this person right here is going to notice that you're going to be withdrawn and they're going to start asking questions. Okay. Problems that could arise with person number two. We have the seven of wands coming out. And I feel like with this energy right here, it's like, I feel like this person is just making you realize a lot um, within yourself. And they might be bringing out some things that you don't want to realize about yourself. Okay. I'm getting that kind of vibe where, but this is honesty. And, um, I feel like this person right here just brings a lot of truth that you actually, um, you know, I feel like you want to welcome those truths, but I feel like too, you're, you're like, I'm not ready to face those truths yet. You know? Um, general advice regarding option number one, person number one, we have the high priestess. Uh, I feel like this is your team saying, um, person, you know what to do. All right. Intuitively, you know, if you're not feeling this situation right here, you know, um, you need to let, let it go. I, I almost feel like if you were to let this situation go because you're just bored or stagnant or you're just not feeling it, or you kind of knew it wasn't who you were supposed to be with. Uh, I feel like you're going to be able to talk to this person, even if you guys have kids. And it, I feel like for some reason, it's going to be amicable. I don't feel any nastiness going on here at all. What can you, uh, or the general advice, I'm sorry, regarding person number two, we have the full card coming out. Um, taking a leap of faith, new beginnings. I don't feel like this is foolish behavior. I feel like this person right here. Uh, I feel like you guys have uh, started off on an, an emotional journey together and I feel like it has the potential to kickstart into something new, something that you haven't been able to experience and um, I'm kind of getting the chills right now because I feel like person number one, I do feel like they love you, but I feel like they also too kind of sense the stagnant growth. So what's the chemistry between... Pisces and person number one. What is the sexual chemistry or any chemistry? And for person number two. Okay, so we have the six of pentacles coming out again. All right. And I feel like this is person number two. I feel like with person number two, you know, I just kind of feel like this is them and you're like what they've been waiting for. But they've been respectable this whole time. I feel like they've been respectable of you and your situation this whole time. I feel like there's chemistry there. But I, I feel like this person is actually very genuine. And we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out with person number one as far as chemistry. And I feel like uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving person in the deck. And I almost feel like this is how the relationship has been. Even if you guys have a kid or two together. I feel like you both are kind of feeling done with it, you know? Um, I don't feel like this person knows about person number two, but I don't feel like you've done anything wholeheartedly wrong aside from develop the emotional bond, which is, it's wrong. You know, you shouldn't be doing that. What are the divine messages for uh, Pisces and person number one? And Pisces number two. Okay. So we have Divine Feminine coming out from person number one. All right. So I feel like we have reaping karmic rewards on person number two. Okay. So I feel like um, what's going on here is I, I almost feel like I'm speaking to a female. All right. And your team is telling you... Um, um, Okay, for developing the emotional bond, I feel like happened over here. Um, I don't feel like you've done anything to, uh, you haven't done anything wrong aside from just forgiving yourself for developing the emotional bond. Okay. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you, you know, 
I just feel like I'm speaking to a divine feminine. All right. And I feel like this is how you, this is what you embody. And even into this person right here, I feel like it's, it's embodied in that this is going to be, if this ends, if you decide to end this, this is going to be, um, done in good deed, done in good karma. Okay. You're going to talk to this person. And honestly, if you're a male and this is a female right here, she's divine feminine and she's not going to react negatively. Uh, but I feel like as long as you talk to them and you're honest and up, up front, you forgive yourself, you forgive the person right here, you forgive this person right here, everything for everything is forgiven. You what you got to do when you reap those good karma points, you you it's mostly forgiveness. It's about forgiving, okay? Forgiving and love. And then over here, it's reaping karmic rewards. So if you go from this person over to this person, it's like there's going to be a good balance. This is not going to be negative karma on you if you decide to go through this so long as you handle this situation correctly. Okay. So Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. If you guys want um, an extended, it's going to be more like a personal read. Email me. Uh, it, my email is on the about me section. Email me. And for, you know, a $5 donation, $10 donation, whatever you can do. Um, I will do a full read for you guys on your situation. Okay. Cause this obviously is not going to be for everybody. All right, Pisces, I will talk to you later.